Ready? Ain't nobody want that conflict, conflict. Shining in a brighter than a common, common. Pick that issue when I hit you like a missile. You've been not rocking with that pickup, fix up. It has been a crazy and lucky week for the channel. Now, a lot of you guys have been leaving likes on these videos, on these trade-up videos, and you also really want me to do crate openings because I said leave a like if you want to see more crate openings and trade-ups. So as always, leave a like on this video if you want to see more. But today in this video, I'm going to see if I can end one of my luckiest weeks in Rocket League with an insane 50 impact crate opening, and then we're going to do all the trade-ups afterwards as well. So um, I want to give a massive shout-out to Logos.com for sponsoring this video. You can check them, their link out in the description and use my discount code. I'm going to play their sponsored intro and without them I, I wouldn't be able to make the videos that I make so I really appreciate it like I said be sure to use my discount code here's the intro and then we're going to get in to opening the impact crates before we do continue this video I want to give a massive shout out to loga.com a lot of you know who they are for sponsoring this video you can go over to their website you can buy gift cards for PSN Steam and even the Nintendo Switch they've got a really expansive site with very helpful and responsive live chat so thank you so much loga for sponsoring the video you can check their link out in the description that's going to do it for now i hope you all enjoy the video all right so we have 50 keys obviously we're going to be going for streamline juice those are the two black markets from this crate that i've not got i've had fire god twice already so i i'm actually not too bothered about getting that again we'll go for any trade-ups that we can i'd love to get some more painted centrists as i think i only have one or two pairs santa Fe's i've got plenty of so we're going for new black markets fire god would of course be great and painted exotics either in the crate or in the trade-ups and that is what we're doing. If I've done this correctly or figured this out correctly in my head, this is being uploaded on a Sunday uh, after all my trade-up videos and all that stuff. Um, so hopefully we have a good end to the week. So yeah, uh, let's see how we do. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off the headphones. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it without headphones because I don't feel like I need the sound. And I also, I did have my headphones turned up a little bit too much. I don't want to tab out the game, risk anything going wrong. Um, so I'm gonna put these down here actually because it's so loud. I think you can the mic can hear the audio coming out of the headphones. So um, Yeah, we're going to keep going. We've got 48 more crates and that's what we're looking for black markets I think out of 50 crates with my luck track record, etc, etc. I'd like one black market I think one's fair enough. It's not asking for too much, but it's fine I'm definitely over the rares in the impact crate though. I see them a lot. I get them a lot and uh, yeah, I I'd like to not have any rares, please. I'd be down with a juice or a streamline, you know, really cool and uh, really interesting. So, yeah, like I said, if you do want to see more crate openings and stuff like that, maybe smaller, but with extra superstitions or things like that, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Any sort of old crate battles, I could get loads of old crates. I've, I think I got 50 nitro crates. Um, Logo gave me those for free, actually, which was super cool of them. So I've got crates to do stuff with. Obviously, there's the trade-up section on Logo where I can buy packages to make sort of like mini-series like I did this week with the very rare trade-ups and also the import trade-ups, all of which were immensely successful. Um, so yeah, there's definitely lots of videos that I can make. I want to start going back into the Steam Workshop for Rocket League and doing maps like that like I used to do like a year ago. That would be great. Um, some sort of trading series, whether that's blind trading or something like that, that would be great. Uh, honestly, I'm just excited to, to get it started. We're one off the fire god there, which is, you know, a little bit annoying. I am still recording with my main high-quality face cam, but it does only record for 16 and a half minutes. So after, in like 10 minutes time, I'm going to have to cut the video, turn that off, and start it over again. Because I was like, I could use my webcam because I can't get my GoPro to work. It's just not turning on. I don't know if it's a battery problem or a GoPro problem. But that's what I used to record my face cam with. That could record for like an hour and a half straight. This can only record 60 minutes. I was going to use the webcam, but I thought, you know what? I want it to be of the utmost quality. So, uh, yeah, that's what I opted for. Um, so far, nothing really to report. We got normal Santa Fe's. All right. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. I'm wrapping the OG Pixel Army merch. The hashtag says Pixel Army on the back. Um, you can, if you are interested in buying Pixel Army merch, you can check out the link in the description. Um... Yeah, I've seen some people buy that, and they told me they really like it. So, yeah, that's that's also there for your viewing pleasure. We're getting getting too many rares, though, I think, right now. I don't even think... We've had, like, an exotic and maybe a couple very rares. That's it. And we're... This is our 10th crate, and so far, nothing really that good. Normal exotics for me. They didn't really do it, and I'm sure you can understand why. I have a fair few of them. So... Splash back. Honestly... I don't see myself getting hyped over anything in these crates anymore. Like, I was thinking to, I was thinking to myself just then, like, what if this was a fire god? Would that hype me? Would that hype me up? I don't know. I think it'd be quite a tame reaction compared to my reactions to the white zombies. Like, 
Every time I've got white zombies, I've like screamed, danced, sung, whatever. I think if I got like a black market, especially if it's a fire god, I'd be like, let's go. You know, I wouldn't like be like, yes. When I got the first fire god, I think I literally went, let's go. I was so happy because it was my first ever impact crate. If you want to go back and watch that, you can watch it on the channel. It was uploaded like a month ago. Um, but at the time of recording, there is a new Rocket League update coming out today. Uh, I'm recording this on a Wednesday, but Rocket League haven't released the patch notes yet for it. So I don't know what kind of update it is. I might make a, I might have made a video on it. By the time you're seeing this, I would have either made a video on it or not, depending on how big the update is. But right now, I'm just waiting on the patch notes. The update is supposed to come out at the time recording. There we go. We got an atomizer. That is sweet. That's my third atomizer. Um, black market gold explosion. I'll take that. But as I was saying, yeah, at the time of recording, the new Rocket League update comes out in four and a half hours and the patch notes released before that. So I'm excited to see what that is, what that has to offer. But there we go. We got the one black market out of the 50 crates that I said with my luck we should get. Uh, it wasn't a new black market. It is one I have two of. So out of the four, that is the worst one I could get. But hey, it's a black market, and it was it was really cool to see. I love the color of black market, seeing them come up in a crate. It's just really cool. Let's get back to back and just have a good day, shall we? All right, Reapers. Maybe my luck's slowly beginning to turn with a very slow start. I think when it, sometimes I get mad crate like, like at the beginning, but it always seems to peak. I think it's actually better when I start off bad, because it can only get better from there, and it often does, you know? Uh, like with the trade-ups, loads of non-painted. Then the first one that came in, the very first player's choice import trade-up, we got the white zombies again. Uh, it's literally, it's been it's been crazy. And honestly, finding like a new flair for RLCS after RLCS for Rocket League has kind of really made me hyped to record these videos, especially those trade ups. Every single one I recorded all four of my trade up videos this week: the two import ones, the very rare, and the the other import one. I recorded all of those in one day because I was so hyped to make them. And I think just seeing Rocket League played at the World Championships. It made me come home and I played Rocket League a lot. For like a week after RCS, I sweated out the game. And I'm still playing Rocket League the game, like the actual ranked stuff, hours a day now. And it, it's just making me more excited to do crates and trade-ups and stuff. Obviously, I'm now leaning more towards trade-ups with there not being a new crate for like a month. But I, I'm not begging for a new crate or anything. As I said, I even think they're starting to do it, overdo it a little bit too much on the crates. Um, but trade-ups will always be interesting. And I think as my inventory grows, I'm starting to think more towards trading. I'd love to try and do something with trading. Uh, but it, it is difficult. It is the hardest one to do. I need other accounts for that. Um, I've got a series idea in mind with white zombies that I can do. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm thinking about on the channel. Obviously, I want to do more Fortnite challenge videos. Um, but... It's been kind of difficult because the leaks haven't been as clear, some of them, so I don't want to speculate too much. Uh, we got an Enchanter, which is good. Um, and I don't want to just make nothing videos like two minutes long that aren't aren't just helpful and informative. If it's a treasure chest like or treasure treasure search challenge, treasure search challenge, then I'll happily do that because a lot of you guys like it. Like I usually get about 50,000 views for my uh, like minimum. Ooh. That looks good uh, for my treasure videos, and um, they do quite well. Is that is it? It is painted. What is that red? I, I can't really tell. It might be burnt sienna. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. It's crimson. Okay. Wait, let me have a look at. So we got we just got a crimson twinser. Uh, so if we go like that, and then we put the red twins on it, just have a little look. That's pretty sick. Ooh, that is clean. I like that a lot. I really do like that a lot. Okay, not quite quite as cool as the my blue car in, in my opinion. But hey, we're 20 crates in. We've got the atomizer. We've got a crimson twinser. That's that's in keeping with the luck this week. That's really good. I like that. I'm definitely proud of that. Happy with that, I should say. Sunday. All right, cool. Yeah, our, our luck's beginning to turn a little bit. Uh, but honestly, I'm just really excited, and it's nice to see like. Um, initially when I did like a lot of Rocket League, my channel kind of hit a standstill and like, the, you know, I was losing some, some subscribers here and, and, and obviously I think, I think the Fortnite viewers are starting to kind of understand what the channel's sort of about. Like right now it is mostly Rocket League with Fortnite on the side. If there's something crazy in Fortnite to make a video about, then I will, but it's just harder because when I did it in, at the beginning of season three and in season two and stuff, um, less people were doing it and it felt more original. It felt like I was really adding value to Fortnite in the game, like with helping people out and stuff. But now everyone wants to be the one to get there first. They want to be the person to deliver the news, to to do the tutorials. And it, it does demotivate me. Like even though I know I'd get more views doing relevant Fortnite videos or uploading Fortnite clips and stuff like that, 
it just seems that there we go rocket league is where it's at and it, a lot of you are liking the videos you know 20,000 views per rocket league video is crazy we just got painted certified centros we're doing well painted centros i wanted that we've got it black market i wanted that we've got it we got a red twinser let's have a look at that now um so yeah uh scorer saffron centros i like that a lot i do i definitely do and also a lot more people know me as the Rocket League guy than the Fortnite guy. And um, I think a lot of people are happy that I'm kind of sticking to Rocket League a little bit more. Um, because, I mean, there are a lot of people that used to make Rocket League videos that don't really anymore. Even the Llama Sir, he's, I think he's fully fledged Fortnite with the occasional Rocket League news video. Because he's doing really well on Fortnite right now. The Camping Russia, he's gone to Fortnite. Um... Fruity sometimes does Rocket League, but only really around an update. He's basically all Fortnite now. Jake is, again, he sometimes does Rocket League, but as far as videos goes, it's all Fortnite. Magical Gamer, Easy Measy, uh, Endo Rail, they're all Fortnite. And the only people making Rocket League content, really, um, Phantom Ace dabbles, I think. John Sandman, he's still, he's still killing it. Um, obviously, the pro players, they still do their thing. But in terms of, like, content creation, like, from a YouTube standpoint, rather than, like solid gameplay there's, there's there's not a lot around floop is killing it in the rocket league scene mercy one of my favorite rocket league youtubers he's still doing it but there's a lot less people doing it and i'm i'm one of the only people that are doing sort of crates and trade-ups right now um other than john who does it you know weekly or whatever um a lot of the other rocket league youtubers that are still doing it are doing gameplay so i feel like i'm kind of i'm well one i'm almost like in a gap in the market but it's a gap that i used to be in and that i sort of like was there at the very beginning. I was one of the first sort of crate and trading YouTubers. So that's why I think a lot of people like these videos. And to see that um, they're still getting support and stuff. Like I'm not getting 100,000 views a video like I did in the summer when things were crazy. But honestly, I could not be happier with 20,000 views a video. You know, I'm really, really happy with that. So it just makes me feel good. You know, 20,000 is like my sweet spot. Like that's a lot of views and I really like it. Oh, Sunday. Anyway, YouTube ramble over. Uh, let's, let's get it. Let's go. Um, we got 20 more crates to go. And honestly, I don't really want for much more. Another black market would be great. But we've already got one. Another painted exotic would be great. We've got one. So now it's just, again, kind of play with profit. It, it's definitely improved from the beginning. There was a little bit of lag there. Look at all that red. It's going to be a painted, uh, Cirrus boost. Cirrus? Don't know how you'd pronounce that. It is! That looks nice. Painted certified. It really matches the car. That is Cobalt, of course, because it matches so well. And Show Off. Nice. All right, let's keep going. 19 more. We have 21 impact crates. Um, but, yeah, I got... Obviously, I get a few extra crates for playing the game. I've also... I've played enough. I've got all the shells needed. I've unlocked, as I do every event, I've unlocked every item in the in the event. Um, so now the only thing I can buy with my shells is crates. So basically, right before the event ends... Oh, painted. Uh, I'm going to spend all my remaining shells on Beach Blast crates. Not that I'm too thrilled to open them, but I might as well spend the shells instead of just losing them into the abyss. So, yeah. Oh, there's a streamline and there's a migraine. All right, cool. Migraine's fine for trade-ups. We're kind of we're kind of blasting through this. Let's keep going. I'm feeling it. Feeling good. And, um, again, for, first of all, if you're watching this right of the video, you're clearly like an avid supporter. You love crates. You might just be listening to me in the background. I love it. I love it. Comment, um... Include hashtag windswept in your comments so I know that you watch this far because you're honestly OGs and I love reading the comments. I I I used to when I had like like a few hundred subscribers I would read all the comments. Now uh, then there was a big period where I didn't read all the comments partly because I couldn't actually read every single comment and got too many. But then a, f a few months ago when I physically could probably read all of them I didn't because I just wasn't feeling the comments. But now I do read all of my comments. You know I make it have I go on my phone and, and check through the comments and I really like it. And I'm starting to just fall in love with the whole process. Again, it's, it's got me creative and um, it's enjoyable. And the fact that it's my job is amazing. And there is, there is always the slight worry in the back of my head. Like, what if this doesn't last? What if I blow it? Because when it's been your dream to be a YouTuber for your whole life and you finally kind of get there, I've not made it. You know, I'm not like massive. I'm not mega rich, but I can do it as a full-time job. So in that sense, I've, I've made it. And there is a worry, like, what if this doesn't work out? Realistically, I've got a life to live that I need to pay for. Like, and I'm talking into my adult life where I've got, like, mad bills to pay, eventually children to look after. What if this doesn't last and isn't sustainable? And that is a worry of mine. 
And obviously there's the other worry, like to a lot of my friends or a lot of people that know know of me, know who I am that I went to school with, for instance, I'm kind of like really successful for my age because I'm doing a job like the dream job that I enjoy and I'm making money from it. So I feel like there's a lot of pressure to not fail. Um, I don't want to freak myself too much out too much with the pressure, but there is a bit of pressure and I don't want to let people down. So that's kind of where my head's at. There is always a little, little worry in the back of my head that maybe I, I'm not taking it for granted, but not doing everything I can to maximize my potential, but we'll see how it is. But nevertheless, we're getting close to the ending of the face cam recording. I'm going to do this, going to do this last crate, and we'll save the final 10 for the next face cam. But for you, it's going to be instant. We've got Masato wheels first. One, I think, of this crate opening, possibly. We'll have a little look. I think it is also 10 crates to go. So you're going to see a cut right now. We're going to get straight back in to the 10 last crates and then the trade-ups. See, like for you, there really wasn't any time there. I probably didn't even need to announce the cut. I could have just made it happen. I, I could have gone and had a, a three-course meal in between the recordings. I didn't. It's been about 30 seconds. But still... It's the it, it's movie magic. Anyway, um, the luck's been. I would say to be honest, the, the luck for this craving has been as expected, um, based on my previous craving stuff. You know, black market, painted exotic, painted import car. So pretty good, but nothing absolutely outstanding. So like the rarity of the items I got is good, but the items themselves don't make it the best crate opening in the world. Um, because there was a period of time. It might have been from like late 2017 to early 2018 every every crate opening i would upload would be my next best crate opening and people would be like saying you can't keep having your best why do you keep calling your videos best crate opening and i'm saying i'm literally one upping myself so i can call it the best crate opening because it now is there's a fly having a fit on my window right now but we didn't need to talk about that uh we've got seven more crates to go how are we feeling how are we feeling about this okay i'm feeling fine there down. I know there are a lot of people that do crate openings, probably John in particular, who would be more than happy with the <laughs> with the luck we've had in this video so far. But I think just with how lucky this week's been for me, um, in terms of items and everything I've got, I'm a lot more mellowed out. I still was pretty hyped to see the atomizer there, considering I already have two and it is the only old black market in this this new crate. But yeah, I'm still kind of happy with that. Three black markets from the impact crate. It would have been cool if it was one of each of the new ones. But we got, we got fire good twice, so I can't really complain about that. Nevertheless, we're moving into the final few crates now. I think we're going to get one import. I just feel like we're going to get an import in these last few crates. Uh, no black markets, no exotics. Just one import and then a mixture of rares and very rares. That's my my prediction. Uh, seeing how things have gone for me in the past, I think that's what we're going to maybe end up with. Which I would be, I'd be cool with. I'll be fine with that. Now let's see. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of lag. There's the import that I was talking about. Um, let's see if it's painted because there was, like I said, a little bit of lag. Oh, painted certified crimson. There's the import. Let's have a little look at that. It is striker. Striker crimson enchanter. That is what I'm talking about. This is that's really boosted the crate opening, honestly. Um, we got the red twinser and the red striker enchanter to go with it. What? Uh, let's swap it over. Let's go. All right, Enchanter's up here. Um, oft. Oft. Now we get the twins are in there. Um, okay. Look at that. The red twins are with the red striker Enchanter. Yes, please. What wheels can we have that better go with it for now? It's Crimson Zombas. They look okay, but they change a lot. I think, honestly, Crimson... Oh, Crimson Wonderments. That looks really cool. I'm going to look, keep looking up. Maybe the possibly the Crimson uh, Dracos. I think we have those. Crimson Santa Fe's making it a real impact crate car. Striker, Crimson Enchanter, Crimson Santa Fe's, and a Crimson car. And a Fire God. That is literally the impact car right there. If you look at that, we've got red wheels from the impact crate, red striker boost from the impact crate, red car from the impact crate, and a red black market decal from the impact crate. That is really solid um we've of course got the crimson reverbs they look super super cool um what else do we have that's crimson that we can have a little look with uh getting close to the dracos yeah that is solid i really like that some red centros would be great but yeah that is that is nasty that is really nasty really happy with the striker boost that could probably go for something Maybe I'll look into selling it, seeing what happens. If you guys are interested in buying a Striker Red Enchanter, let me know. Maybe I'll sell my entire 
uh, red impact car for like a little bundle price. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I said I reckoned as well as the import, we'd get a mixture of reds and very reds. So I, I stand by that. I think that's what is going to happen. And uh, yeah, honestly, super, super sick. Painted certified Sunday. Two more to go and then we'll do all the trade ups and then we'll blast it out. So this has definitely been a longer video compared to all the other ones. The other ones sit nicely at about 12 minutes, which is kind of like my ideal length, 10 to 15. Uh, but if, it, if it's longer, it's longer. And I don't mind that. Um, all right, I really want to I really want to know when this Rocket League update is dropping, though, to be honest. We're going to get the final crate. Let's get a black market in this final crate. Make it one of my best crate openings in a while, if we did that, to be honest, with all the other stuff we got. Painted exotics, painted imports that match with a striker certification, black markets. We got another import. Okay. We obviously got the painted certified Cirrus or Cirrus boost as well. And, uh, and another normal one. So... Let's have a look at these uh, rare items. Um, we'll go rare straight up. Where are all the rares? I, I remember that they're all being they're quite late in the. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got striker sentio. Let's just trade up five of those straight up. Reaper wheels. Here we go. This is gonna take a while, but I'm down to clown, as the saying goes. All right, let's trade up all those four. Boom. Reapers again. Don't mind it. We're going all the way. Let's get some good trade-up luck. I can't. My my cursor wasn't even anywhere near there. Okay. We'll trade up all of these bad boys. Burnout. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, stay down. Yeah, sure. Bam, bam, bam. I don't mind trading up painted things, by the way. Especially painted res. Oh, there we go. I don't know why they're not um stacked but i'll take it i'll take it no none of them are certified so that seems a bit strange to me sunday let's go five of these windswept oh crimson masato wheels another red painted item from this crate i think we've got everything red painted literally let me have a look everything that's not a decal at least um let's see we got the red uh we didn't get red reapers to be fair we got red masatos red enchanter red twinser we're doing, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We're doing pretty well. I think I'll just leave it at that, then do the very rares. Let's go to very rares right now. There probably won't be too many, to be honest, but I don't mind it. Jeez. Boom. Twinser. Okay. Maybe we'll just have time enough for one trade-up. Uh, like, import trade-up. You never know. Two. Let's go. Enchanter certified. Maybe one more very rare trade-up we could squeeze out of that. I'm not entirely sure, but let's have a little look. Okay. Yeah, we can do one more. Okay, that's that's nice. I like it. Boom. Enchanter painted certified. What color is it? Juggler purple. Not quite striker crimson, but hey, let's see what we got here. Okay, so. Um, it is literally going to be one import trade up maybe. Because we want to keep our painted twins, right? Get rid of that. That. Then we would have... So we'd have one more two three four five yeah we're gonna do one import trade up to save the day it would be amazing to finish this with a painted exotic i can't expect that because our luck else elsewhere has been insane but let's try it boom there we go that that literally sums up the entire week for me on rocket league another painted centro wheel that's what i wanted and we got two pairs we don't need santa Fe's. we got a forest green. We've got forest green, saffron, and lime. We've getting, got every color on that sort of side of the spectrum now. That is absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with the way that's turned out. we got the crimson twinser, the crimson striker enchanter, the atomizer, forest green centros, painted certified saffron scorer centros. We got painted Kiris Boost. We got painted Misatos. We got it all in this crate opening. A really, really solid and good crate opening i won't say it's my best but it's definitely up there it's really it was good it was consistent throughout really really good so that is going to do it for this rocket league week of madness i will of course be back with rocket league next week and hopefully some Fortnite if i can get around to it but nevertheless leave a like if you enjoyed this one subscribe today to join the pixel army ivan pixel you have been awesome and i'll see you in the next video very soon I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it hits you, it's bigger, pixel.